Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Collection, Yellow Ranger. This is the new metallic version, which comes with her specific power weapons, which is very nice. Uh, however, this is the new metallic version, so it may not be the right thing for you, depending on if you have the old figures or not. The figures are mostly the same, but with just a, a couple of slight appearance differences. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just about, just shy of 17 centimeters, which makes it just about six and a half inches, pretty close to that. That's a good enough estimate. And like I said, it's essentially the same figure as before, but now we have this semi-transparent metallic plastic for all of the yellow. Uh, other than the diamonds that are painted on. So it's a little weird. It, it really serves no purpose if you already have the existing one that's nice and opaque and normal looking plastic. However, this one does come with the accessories. So let's talk about those. We do have her two daggers, which are done fairly nicely. Unfortunately, they are also in that same translucent plastic. The only thing that saves these other than their existence is the super metallic silver and then the nicely done gold. Otherwise, it's just a kind of a weird thing to have them be translucent metallic yellow. She does have also her blaster, which is also translucent now, which is not a great thing. So it's kind of disappointing that we get these for their weapons and then the weapons are also translucent. However, there are some slight benefits to this batch of figures and that mostly is the fact that the belts are all painted white for the belt part and then the buckle area is actually painted accurately with the black and silver and, and gold and all that kind of stuff so it looks much better in that regard but the metallic is going to be questionable for some people. I didn't mind that they were going to be metallic but having them be slightly transparent is a little bit weird. Um, otherwise they're essentially the exact same so we'll just run it really quickly. The head is on a ball hinge so it'll rotate around at the, or it's on a hinge with a peg I'm sorry. So it has the hinge that'll let it go up and down which works very nicely and then full rotation so that's really good. And the paints are still nice and clean. There's, there's nothing, nothing wrong with these figures other than they're hyper stylized and now they are somewhat translucent. The ball hinge shoulders work really nicely, better than horizontal, so that's good full rotation. Bicep swivel works no problem at all. Single jointed elbow, definitely kind of a bummer, only 90 degrees there. You do get a swivel at the glove here, which is kind of, kind of useless because you have a full ball hinge wrist, which is really nice. No alternate hands on this figure now. We just have the two different gripping hands. I'm pretty sure they came with different hands before. Maybe I'm crazy. Could be crazy. For the diaphragm joint, it's actually fairly effective, though a little bit ugly. You get pretty good range all the way around and only gapping if you really try, so that's pretty good. The holster, I guess you could count as an accessory. It just pegs on there. For the hips, it's essentially the same as Marvel Legends, though you can almost do full splits. And you can also bring the legs pretty much all the way forward. They don't go back at all. Hers seem to be quite a bit more loose than they were originally. They're not floppy loose, but they're pretty close. You do get a thigh swivel in there, which is also fairly loose on this figure. Maybe that's a result of the plastic. I'm not sure. Double jointed knees work pretty nicely, so that's good. We do have a boot swivel. And then for the ankle, we have a hinge that goes all the way back, which is really nice goes pretty far forward especially after you flex it and then you also have full rotation so yeah they're not bad figures at all though you have to be aware that they are very stylized obviously and the, the new metallic versions are actually metallic and somewhat transparent so that is a bummer despite the fact that you get these guys they're also somewhat transparent so it's very disappointing in some aspects I'm still happy to get them because they're still only $20 figures and they're fun to have but be aware transparent accessories, transparent figures, the white parts are all opaque, and then the silvers are, are all opaque, but it's just kind of weird. So I'm going to let you guys decide. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is okay? This is not okay? Obviously, they should have just included the weapons in the first bunch, but we did get the Build-A-Figure Megazord, so I don't know. These guys have no Build-A-Figure and no alternate hands, although I don't know if the original ones did. I can't remember offhand. No pun intended, but either way, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I forgot to mention, there's a waist twist. I just realized that there is a waist twist, so that's a nice little bonus. Yeah, I don't know. I like them enough, but objectively speaking, eh, they're kind of eh, eh, I don't know. They do come warped in the package quite severely, but you can fix that with a hair dryer. I'll stop rambling. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, and all kinds of other fun stuff, so make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and in the meantime... Keep collecting.